throw in some you know, verbal teachings as well. So um, people will say, well, what if he doesn't punch and step in with that leg? That technique won't work. I'm in a debate on Facebook because, you know, that's all it's good for, right? To argue that <laughs> right? So, so, you know, this one very high-ranking martial art coach and master is talking about how most martial arts are not good for self-defense. To me, that's just total ignorance because self-defense is simply, listen, self-defense started in a cave somewhere. Some guy probably tried to steal another guy's food and he took a rock and bashed him on the head. Then they knew that that technique worked and he kept on teaching. That's self-defense, right? Sure. So to be able to be so ignorant to say, you know, Kempo is not as good as this one. And I mentioned Kempo because every single friend they have is a Kempo guy. So, uh, you know, and, and though we, it's all the same, right? We just got to take the lesson and make it work for us to find out how it works, right? So he doesn't step in with that leg. So you go, oh, that technique doesn't work. I, I can only do it, Sensei said, on the right leg. If that's what you saw, you're not really watching, right? Because it's left leg, right leg, right hand, left hand. Doesn't matter. You just gotta practice it over and over again. Most people, and even in my dojo, they don't want to practice enough. They just want to say, show me the technique, and they did it three times, and mom's saying, well, how come Johnny didn't get his stripe yet? Well, you know, because he's only done it three times. Like, you know, we gotta actually learn it. So if someone attacks us in the street, we could do it. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. Right? Okay, so second technique. Can I do that? So, so we're gonna stay on the inside. Okay, so from here. And, and we're inside, so he throws the strike. And I'm gonna step this way. I could strike here or I could strike right up to the elbow, right? When I strike to the elbow, I'm gonna reach in. Now some people may be saying, what about that punch? Right? So yes, if he throws a one-two right away, I might do this, boom, he throws a second one to hit that one, right? Or I might just hit it, right? Or I might retract and do a different technique. But for now, I'm coming inside, boom, I'm hitting. I'm gonna slide this in, and with my elbow, I'm gonna pull downward on the arm to bring him down. I have a few choices. Stay standing, right? If this was my nightclub and you know, nightstick and I had to handcuff if I was a cop, I could just stand here and just tear his shoulder right out or handcuff him or tear his shoulder out and then handcuff him, right? So, or I could do this and step inward, grind his back and then back roll and take his arm with me. So it all depends on how violent you have to get. And I'm always astounded when a mom or a parent says to me, wow, that, my kid got hurt. That looks dangerous, but it's martial arts. It's not soccer. And people get tackled in football. People don't say, why did my kid get tackled? He's playing football, right? It's martial arts. So he comes in, boom, hitting up. You know, this could come here too and bring him down. There's so many variations depending on what he does. But for now, coming through, bam, through and in. I like to bring it in towards my shoulder because that will create me to be on top of the bicep. So that when I do this, it brings him down. Put in tight and rotation. Make sense? Uh, One different angle. So, come over here. so again, here, boom, in, down, through. Or 